Hey guys, it's Kate, your Plastic Free Mermaid, and I'm here with Bill! <laughs> Alderman Bill Harvey from the Hobart City Council. G'day, nice to see you again. Great to see you <laughs> as well. We met at the Beyond Plastic Pollution Conference last November. Very exciting times. Um, so, Bill is here as a um, very esteemed politician <laughs> to help us understand how we would go um, from Tarkine, amazing ancient rainforest, to World Heritage Site. Um, so this is the campaign that we're currently supporting, trying to get this beautiful rainforest which is being logged and mined. Um, and the only way to save this area is to get it to World Heritage listing. But how would we do such a thing? Well, firstly, welcome to Tasmania. It's great to have you here. So good to be here. So, so I, I'm looking forward to your feedback from when you go to the Tarkine. So the Tarkine's in the, the northwest of Tasmania. It's a, a big area of temperate rainforest. Um, second biggest area of temperate rainforest in the world. Mm. Enormous cultural and environmental values. It's a very special place. Uh, and people who go there are, are pretty inspired about looking after it and protecting it. So I'm sure you'll come back with some very, you know, inspired stories. And we're um, so the Tarkines are a, a hugely important place for, you know, the world basically. Uh, Tasmanians have known about it for a long time. Mainlanders, I don't think, know as much as they should about the Tarkine. So in order to get this area protected for future generations, we really need to inform people on the mainland of how important this place is. So people need to come down, enjoy the Tarkine, understand the values of the Tarkine and tell their, you know, their friends and neighbours and the community and the world at large that this area really needs to be protected for forever and a day through, through listing. Um, I think it's got world heritage values and a lot of people believe that it should be world heritage listed. So we need a huge campaign, we need huge support from the mainland and across the globe to build the momentum to get this special piece of Tasmania protected forever. Mm. And for something to have World Heritage listing, it's my understanding that there's a set of about 10 criteria. Mm. Um, I think it was six of which are cultural and four of which are environmental. Um, and what are some of the things that um, qualifies the Tarkine amongst that? Well, Do you know cul offhand? culturally <laughs> it's had, uh, possibly 40,000 years of continuous occupation. Okay. You know, the indigenous, the Aboriginal people of Tasmania have used that land for you know, generation after generation after generation. And their, their presence is still in the landscape there. The coasts are, are, are you know, lined with middens where they, they you know, produce their um, food, they, they gathered their food and they had their rituals over you know, countless generations that deserves protection. Mm. The environmental values of the Tarkine are enormous. Biodiversity wise it's got an enormous yeah. number of species uh, from old forests to button grass plains to wild coastlines. It's, it's got the lot. It's the full package when it mm. comes to you know cultural and environmental um, values. It's a, it's a special place. Um, people go there and they're inspired mm. by the, the beauty of the Tarkine Sadly, not enough people um, get it. They don't understand that this is a special place on the planet mm. and it deserves to be protected. So that's mm. the message that I want people to understand, that this is a very special place. This deserves to be protected for future generations. Mm. Mm. Probably a, a wonderful, um, you know, that's why this campaign that we're supporting, Tarkine in Motion, is bringing artists out to the forest to be inspired and to then channel that inspiration into their artwork. Um, mm. So that's what we're kind of, we're trying to support this particular campaign to save the Tarkine. And um, it's really interesting interesting to hear that it can't just be in Tasmania. It can't just be um, in this area because mm. it has to be global it has to be at least na national to is, is it build the momentum like who makes the decision is it UNESCO mm. on World mm -hmm. Heritage yeah. Site and how do we yeah. get it to UNESCO's attention well firstly we need to get it on the radar of the state government okay so that they start pushing <laughs> to protect this space so you know. t talking to local our local politicians and then our well the state government c will play an important role in this if they were of the mind to protect the Tarkine then they would start moving in that direction Okay. So federally, we need um, action from ministers yep. who are responsible for, you know, um, 
uh, biodiversity and environmental management in the country, but the state government will play an important role, as will the federal government. Mm -hmm. uh, we just need everybody understanding the importance of the of the tarkine mm -hmm. and start working to save it, to protect it from exploitation that will damage it for you know, future generations rather than protect it for future generations. Mm. Great. And <clears throat> part of and the way people can do that is by writing their politicians. Is, do petitions even work? Well, I think I think the public awareness campaign is really important. Great. What's the Tarkine? Where yep. is the Tarkine? Have you heard of the Tarkine? It's an amazing place in Tasmania. Mm. People need to come and visit it. There's mm. huge potential for tourism in the northwest, mm. and the economy is not running that well in the northwest. Right. Uh, tourism is a major part of improving the local economy in that area. Especially an economy economy that used to be super reliant on logging and mining. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, the old industries have, have had their day. Um, we need to start moving into the, you know, the the modern way of looking after land. Yep. So we don't want to <clears throat> overexploit it, but we want people to see it and understand it and appreciate what's there. So tourism will be a major player in protecting yep. the tarkine into the future. Ah, oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. So you heard it here from Bill um, <clears throat> Greens. City Council Member Alderman here from Hobart telling us that social campaigns, awareness campaigns are what we need to put energy into. So that's really great because the more we spread the message, mm -hmm. the more we share the message um, for these issues that we care about and that are important to us, um, the more impact it has, the more people see that this is something um, that you know maybe their curiosity is sparked and they read more about it and then they get involved. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> take it upon yourself, be inspired to take action in your community, in your life and um, share with people what you're supporting. Very good. So the only way we'll save it is if everyone in the country demands that we save the Tarkine. So, you know, a letter here and a letter there and information, stay informed, support the Bob Brown Foundation, yep. um, support those who are trying to protect the Tarkine. And there's a lot of people out there working hard to do that. So the artists that are up there this weekend are all part of this campaign. They produce beautiful work to help spread the word across the country that um, this is an area worth protecting. Mm. So, hashtag Tarkine in motion and um, hashtag Bill Harvey is the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> Follow Bill's work. Yeah. Um, incredible leader for the environmental movement um, based here in Hobart, making amazing changes. We just went on an eco tour with Bill, so if you're ever in Hobart, hit him up for the eco <laughs> tours. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much, Bill. Thanks, Kate. Yeah. Great to see you. You too. <laughs>